Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make this little China chess board game. Um, I designed this on uh, Fusion 360 and printed it on my filament printer. Um, I have a Anycubic Photon Mono SE. Uh, but you can of course print it on any kind of um, resin printer. I made quite a lot of these as I am going to sell them on my uh, miniature sales exhibitions. Um, but first of all, I am going to paint these in this was a walnut brown color. Uh, you can paint them in another brown or in black if you want. I make some in a dark gray as well. Make sure you are going into the small holes in the little board uh, and don't leave too much paint in there because then the holes are not going to work for the small beads later. If you don't have a 3D printer, you can make something like this out of clay and then using a dotting tool to make the small holes. Um, and uh, it's a good idea if you go on Google and find a um, China chess board um, so you can see how the holes are placed before you do it. Uh, I'm not going to show that here, but it is possible to do. So I painted all my boards. You can see I have them both in this dark gray and the walnut brown. Now I am going for the look of the one that I made here, uh, coloring in the triangular shapes in the colors of the beads. And I made yellow and orange opposite. I made blue and pink opposite. No, purple and pink opposite, and blue and green opposite. Um, and I'm just taking a tiny bit of my uh, paint here. This is the yellow, and going slowly, making the triangular shape, and then painting everything in the inside of this triangular shape. And as I said, the orange opposite of the yellow triangular shape. Uh, I did mix another orange later because this one was a bit too close on the yellow color. Uh, but I won't show that right here. Then my pink color next to the yellow color. But you can color in this triangular shape in any color you like. Uh, I found these small nail art beads that is one millimeter and they fit perfect into the holes on this little chess game, uh, China chess. Um, so I decided to use those colors. So if you have some other colors uh, of small nail art beads, then you just... Make sure your paint is all dry before you continue to the next step of the little board game here. I am using my nail art beads. Um, I found these on AliExpress um, and they are one millimeter. Um, you can find different kinds of those, so maybe you want something else. In hindsight, I actually rather wanted some metallic colored beads for this little game. Uh, I did use golden beads for the yellows uh, in some of these boards just to see how that looks and I kind of like the look. Uh, so maybe next time I want to find some metallic beads for it because uh, they stand out a tiny bit more than these are. But anyway you are just going to put a tiny bit of glue into each of the small dots here and then pick up, pick up um, the bead from the box and place it into the glue so that it is sitting into the little uh, divot or groove for, for the bead. Um, and this took me a long time because I'm doing green for green, yellow for yellow and so on. Um, just take your time with it and enjoy uh, the process of making this. It can actually be quite relaxing to do. So this board was my first try and as you can see the holes are way too deep in that one. So I changed the board and I like the new one better. So that's nice. 
I want to have a box for my game, so I designed this little box. Um, this is the Danish version. I will leave an English version in the uh, info box below if you want to make the box. And here I am placing tape over the box. And um, that's actually not a good idea because the glue won't stick that well to the tape. It looks really nice with the tape on, but the glue is um, giving it... Um, yeah, it's giving none surface to stick on with the tape on there. So uh, I ended up doing the rest of these without the tape on there. But I uh, decided to show you this version because, um, yeah, why not? So I cut the two parts out and now I am cutting an indent. Uh, according to the lines on um, the uh, printout and um, then I am bending so that I have the two small flaps for gluing on one of these nothing on the next two small flap for gluing on the next one and so on all the way around um, and I'm just gonna bend these in place and then glue everything together um, take your time with the bending so that you get it straight. That will give you a neater result in the end. I'm using my tacky glue to glue this together because of the plastic it's not working quite as well as I wanted it to. It is working but um, I think it can open up really really easy so again I am just going to do it with the re regular paper without the tape on top but you can do it just like you want to. Maybe you have some glue that is better than mine. But glue the box together and um, make the glue dry before you continue. So now all there is left to do is placing the little game in the box and put the lid on top and there it is a little china chess game in a box. I actually think this came out really really neat. You can find the print files for the china chess in the info box below and also the um, the box print file in the info box below. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.